Hey everyone, I'm gonna be doing some dimes. I have 12 rows here. I'm gonna be looking for 2009s or pre 65s or any errors. So let's get into this. So I'm looking for 2009 Phillies or Denvers, any pre-65s or anything older, Mercury Dimes, anything. I want to see the years anyway for 2009. Otherwise, I would have finished this roll by now because I don't see any silver. 74. Alright, I'll be back with the next roll. Not seeing anything in this roll, 1978. Nope. Alright, let's go on the next roll. Right, roll number three. If you haven't seen my video on how to reuse the bank wraps, just check uh, episode 1 and 2, I do go over them. If you don't have any uh, of your own wraps to use. I still have my two bags of wraps, but I just keep using these over and over. So. All right, roll number three had nothing. I'm on roll number four. Hoping I could find a W, that'd be really sweet. So it feels good to be back into coin hunting again. I took a long break, somewhere in mid 2018 up to just recently, maybe the last month I started back again. But I didn't film during those days. I my I don't even think I had a YouTube channel. This is a 96D. So I was just doing it at a leisure and I was finding pretty decent amount of silver at the time and interesting coins. But yeah, it's nice to be back into this. I mean it's much harder to find at least quarters. Quarters I'm still really looking for. At least one pre-65 before I croak. I'd like to find one. I'm 
Dimes are usually more forgiving when you're looking for silver and the same with half dollars. with the next roll. Alright, roll number five. Let's see if we can get some luck from one of these rolls. There's something old there. Dirty. It's either really old or really dirty. Let's see what this is. Ah, 1980, just dirty. 96, P, oh. This one's really shiny. 2020. Anything good in here? So the next roll. Alright, next roll. <clears throat> Just using a pen to push these out. Way I saved the wrapper. Alright, let's see what we got. to the next roll. Alright, I'm halfway done with the rolls. Haven't found anything yet. coins I've gone through. Ninety-six P. No. All right, moving on to the next roll. Improve. What's this? 
only four D. I saw something right here. Bingo! Wow. As soon as I picked up that previous dime, I got this bug, this silver bug. Tingly, like your spider sense is tingling. There we go. A Philly. 1949. Oh, that's excellent. Is it a film? There's no mint marks in the back, are there? No, I don't think so. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, that's awesome. Finding one, at least one, is always a happy day. Wow, this is a really old one, too. I don't think I found an old one like this in a long time. All right, so we got one. Let's check the rest of these real quick. Cause I need to get my bag of dimes to replace that one. And I left it in the room. That's awesome. 1949 Philly. See, they're still out there. All you gotta do is just give it the effort, be persistent. Even if, if, if I were, to not find any pre-65 dimes, I still would have been okay. Even if I found nothing today, I would have been like, okay, it's just another L, but you gotta take your losses and just try another day. That's it, don't give up. The only way you accumulate the coins you want is just to be persistent. This is a 66. Yeah, 66. There have been days when I first started where I just like I said, F it. I'm just taking a long break. I'm not gonna find anything. It's sort of like you're semi giving up. And then I just kind of like kick myself in the butt and push myself to keep going. So I've accumulated quite a good amount of dimes, not a whole lot, but I found a pretty decent amount. All right, so this roll is done. This is pretty cool. Nineteen forty-nine. That's awesome. All right, I'll be back with the next roll. All right, we got these last four rolls here. I have this beautiful dime right here. It's just gonna sit and view. Let's see what we find. This roll hunt was already a win just, just because of that one dime. Even if I find nothing in these last four, I'm already satisfied, so. I tried to get a penny box the other day. There's a 96P. 
but the clerk said there were none. And I've noticed, and that was when I first noticed the smaller coin boxes, like the really flat ones. I think with the with these, they're come in what 10, 20, 20, or 30, about fifty dollars, I think, for dimes. I don't know the other denominations for the other boxes, but yeah, they've made mini boxes now for coins, which is interesting all right so this roll is a bust let's go on to the next roll all right so I'll be back if I find anything interesting this is roll number uh, 10 if I find anything I'll be right back all right roll 10 was a bust Moving on to row 11. I'll be right back if I find anything good. Alright. Last dime row for this episode. I'll do this one all together. Alright, let's see what we find. Seventy. Denver. Seventy five. No, one of those. I have no. sixty. Out of sixty five. Oh, it's clad, so it must be. Yep. D, nope. Nothing good. Alright, so hit that like button if you enjoy coin roll hunting. I'll be doing um, my next video. Alright, this is done. So I didn't find anything in the last row. Uh, my next video I'm going to be doing um, half dollars. I have $60 that I found at one of my banks. So the only one I found today in this dime roll hunt is this 49, which is not too bad. So hit that like, subscribe, bell notification button.
for alerts on Bird Brain Gaming video uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everyone.